peaceful. But as you can see, now the demonstrators are pushing against the police lines, and it is turning pretty violent. I understand. I understand. We're heading north in a Chinook helicopter, flying fast and low over Taliban country. Ethiopia is still among the poorest countries in the world. Travelling from the capital Addis Ababa along its half-finished roads, it's taken us two days to reach the remote area of Legambo. Zimbabwe is on its knees. Driving through this country, deprivation is everywhere. Did, didn't he, he just say, what am I doing about increasing gas prices? You want me to increase them? You meant, what am I going to do about, I'm, I'm messing with you, I'm messing with you, I'm, I understand. I think the Conservative Party is setting the agenda, and we've got to try and generate a sense that you can get change in Britain. Driving into Kamarishi, you soon realise every home, every building, every vehicle has been destroyed. Everything here is now scrap. We walk past homes with a great harbour view, but a view that came with a terrible price. Yeah, you can see they've marked this house. They've obviously been here searching. It's simply terrifying to imagine what it must have been like for the family living in this house when the tsunami came. The water would have ripped out the front of the house here and then charged into the back of the house over there. Through here is a study, there are still books on the bookshelves. And then at the back, the water will have rushed through to the master bedroom. No one here could possibly have survived. The UN says it's 150 million pounds short of what it needs to help all of these people. Unless that gap is quickly filled, more babies will die. Matt Barbet, 5 News, Ethiopia. All these drones are doing is creating enemies. Please tell them to leave Afghanistan, leave all the Muslim countries. We will take care of ourselves. We've done it for thousands of years. Why should the Americans do it for us? Tribal area is the most armed area in the world. There is no place like the tribal area where every man is a, is a warrior. And revenge is an integral part of the character. In this jirga, everyone stated that we will seek revenge. And what is revenge? Joining the militants. Sports teaches you to struggle. That's the greatest lesson sports gives you. It teaches you how to cope with the bad times. A champion is not one who, who wins all the time. A champion becomes a champion when he's down on the mat, how he picks himself up.
reach a point where you suddenly see victory uh, within your sights. So I have never felt this in my bones as I do now. I feel that now none of these political mafias can now stop our party. Hey guys, Ice Matt here at the Dancing on Ice Tour. Now as you can see behind me, the lights are hung, the stage is set, and the ice is almost ready. Now I'm here to give you all the backstage gossip as to what the stars get up to off the ice and how they really feel about those costumes. Come on. Chloe Madeley was the dark horse of the show coming in third in the final, and she proved her critics wrong and wowed the crowds week after week. Yeah. And who could forget one of the most unlikely skaters this year, Vanilla Ice. He proved anyone could be converted to the sport. I, she was my baby. I couldn't... There was no way that I had it in me to give her up in any way, shape or form. So with a bit of help to feed myself, um, um, I can now use this to drink from my water bottle. So, um, and I've got some bicep movement that you really do take for granted. But when you can't actually scratch your nose, you realise how <laughs> how annoying it can be. Middleton's opinion about going out with Prince William was, well, he's lucky to be going out with me. And that really sums Kate up. She didn't think she was one of these girls that was so lucky to have landed a prince. She knew that he'd had a good catch. Well, I spoke to several of her friends at Marlborough and they did say that she was different. The, the standards of a school's building kind of make a statement about the importance of education in a country. And, and if the country allows its school buildings to deteriorate, then it's making a statement about the importance of young people and young people's futures. From the books came the inevitable film deals, and since then, the Harry Potter movies have made over three billion pounds at the box office, making it even bigger than James Bond. And that's big. Back at home, I'm just an ordinary teenage girl. And over there, I make a big star household name, so... So do you get mobbed in the street? Yeah, I can't go out on my own. I've got to wear a wig and a hat. Yeah. 